Okay. Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, I, di I didn't see you there. This certainly isn't a gimmick or device to uh, shamelessly plug that I'm going to be at VidCon this weekend. No, no. It is. It, it. This is. It's. It's very, very shameless. So if you're gonna be in the Anaheim area, same place that BlizzCon's held, that's where I will be this weekend. But enough of this. On to the Q and A. What? Q and A. Thank you, Big Perp. You're welcome. So just like last week, this week we're gonna start with some announcements. The first one is really simple. If you have any problems with anything Rodeo Arcade has sent you, the T-shirt, the tickets, the poster, whatever. Contact them, they will replace it and fix it. Trust me on this. I think uh, I've heard from two of you so far, maybe three. Doesn't matter, contact them, they'll fix it for you. Next, oh my goodness, a lot of questions about Terraria. Guys, it still exists, it's still coming back, but I get like 30 or 40 of these emails a day. Trust me on this, trust me, it's coming back. Um, it's just because TB has been away a lot. I've been really busy, and we just haven't had time in our schedules to sort of mesh together. This is international messing. Me I like how I had to look down at the screen to figure out what the hell this looked like, because I didn't even know. Anyway, it'll happen. We just need our schedules to sort of slow down again. It, we've been really hectic the last month or so, but trust me, it's happening. Uh, the next question that I get a ton of emails about. What microphone, what computer, what specs, uh, what do I use to record... Uh, what's my P.O. box? All those questions. Go to the channel page. YouTube.com slash OMFGCATA. It's right there on the side. There's a little thing that says FAQ. Click that as well. I'll tell you everything. Everything. We set that up because I get asked those questions so many times. So I will not answer them in a Q&A because it's, it's, it's a moot point. They exist. The answers are in the ether. They are there. These aren't the questions you're asking me. That's how that works, right? Anyway, the hat is prepped, and we shall do question the first. Hi, Jesse. What video game is your greatest disappointment? From Ectevalia. Ectevalia sounds like a badass, like, Metal Gear Solid name. Or villain from some type of Final Fantasy. You know what? Speaking of Final Fantasy, that's my greatest disappointment. Final Fantasy XIV was garbage. Utter and complete garbage. And I loved Eleven to the point where I played it for like a good year and a half, non-stop. I gave up WoW for Final Fantasy Eleven. Now, mind you, after a while I got bored with it and went back to WoW. I think that's like WoW's like voodoo magic. But uh, Final Fantasy fourteen, I was so excited to play. And it stunk. And I really wish they would have fixed it. They said they were. They said they were going to go back and fix it. But I have not seen that fix. Uh, a lot of promises... And no Final Fantasy XV on the horizon, so I don't know what's happening over there at Square. Squeenix. But, um, yeah, that was a big disappointment. If you're looking for a non-MMO disappointment, uh, pretty much every one of the Tomb Raider games after the second one I was disappointed by. And even the second one was kind of junky. But that's why I'm looking so forward to the new Tomb Raider game, because it looks like just a revitalization of that series. And uh, that... It's, it's a shame they didn't let us play it at E3, because I kind of would have liked to. Uh, but yeah, it's weird. There's a lot of gaming disappointments. A lot. But those are the ones I can think up off the top of my head. Biggest, definitely Final Fantasy XIV. Question the second. This is a big one. <clears throat> That's what she said. Uh, question for Jesse. Have you ever seen an anime? If you have, which one? If you haven't seen one... Which one would you like to if you could watch one? From the Kung Manfred. The Kung Manfred? That is an incredibly awesome username. I don't even know what that means. That's an awesome username. It's like Kung Fu, but Manfred. But Kung Manfred. The Kung Manfred? I don't... I'm not sure what that's... Uh, have I ever seen an anime? Yes, I've seen many. Uh, what is my favorite? Which one have I watched, I guess was the question. Uh, a ton. I've seen a lot. I've seen way too many, and I don't like most of them. I guess I'm a guy who knows a lot of people who like anime, and I just don't like much of it. I guess because most of the plots are, like, metaphysical and... or complete nonsense. And another problem I have with anime that I think is across the board for me 
is many of the first episodes, like first 12, are stellar. And then if it's like a 26 series run, the last 14 or whatever are garbage. Um, I remember being very young and watching Escaflone. Loved that series up until like episode 14-ish. And then it just went downhill real quick. And I think it's because they have all these plans of what they want to do. And then funding gets cut or something. And so they just have to wrap up the series. I don't even know. But I know that it happens all the freaking time. And so that depresses me. Um, a good example would be uh, uh, Full Metal Alchemist. The original, not this Brotherhood one. That just, I haven't even watched that yet, but... Full Metal Alchemist came out, and it was like, awesome, awesome, awesome. And the last couple episodes were junk, utter junk. Um, I guess it says a lot that uh, Cowboy Bebop is my absolute favorite anime, and it's probably the only one I can actually say I'm a fan of. The others, I've just seen them. I'm like, I know they exist, but I don't own anything about them. I don't really care about them. But um, Cowboy Bebop, I had a massive like fanboy crush on that thing. And I think that says a lot about my anime preference because I've been told that's like the least anime anime in existence. So, yeah. And finally, question the third. Jesse, how do you deal with criticism? Any advice? How do I deal with criticism? I, I really don't. I mean, you can say comments don't affect you, but I'm pretty sure that's a lie. Anyone who says that's just trying to <laughs> make themselves believe it. Because, really, that's why most major YouTubers and most YouTubers in general do not read comments and feedback. Because some of that stuff is vicious. Like, ridiculously vicious. So, um, yeah. That's why I do so at my own risk, knowing that people are going to be really mean sometimes. But I generally, because of theater background and audition background and, and being told no. So, like, getting rejected... Many, many times for auditions, after a while, you just sort of get used to it. You're like, okay, whatever. But uh, when it comes to seeing stuff online, like really mean, bitter stuff, you sort of are like, eh, you know, I don't know this person. I don't know if they meant it really that mean or if they're just trolling. So you sort of start to move past it, but it always is there. It's always present. It always affects you. And you can think you're above it and beyond it. But trust me, you'll see, you guys have seen, sometimes someone will post a comment that will really get to me, and I'll just lose it. Like, a good example would be the uh, Binding of Isaac video. That video took me hours and hours and hours to do. And I've never gotten so much angry feedback about not having music in a video. I'm sorry, I just could not do it. It, was, it would mess up all my boards, my, my uh, soundboard over here, everything. Everything would be screwed up. I, you have to resize the thing. You have to do it to every clip of video and fraps. Hours. And it was just all constant. Like, you didn't do this, and you didn't do this, and you didn't do this, and you suck at this game. Like, I was ready to explode. And you can't... I guess that's why a lot of people don't read comments. Because most people, I think, watching videos forget the process it takes to make them and to make them funny and to make them good. And after a while, you it, it sort of builds up inside of you. You're like, just let it go, dude. Just let it go. But every once in a while, you just burst. And that's why you see every major YouTuber every once in a while just shut down and either disappear or leave a tweet that's like, I hate the world or something. It's because it's really tough. So... How do you handle criticism? You don't. You try to struggle through it. And, uh, I mean, it, let's be honest. It's not really criticism. It's just blatant you suckism. So, I don't know. I, I hope that's an answer for you because, really, I don't know what to tell you. I, if I could sugarcoat this and make it beautiful for you and give you a great answer, like, well, what, every once you'll just get used to it eventually. Let's just say you become numb to it, but you never get used to it. Hopefully that's a better answer. That was a really depressing question, by the way. So I think instead of just ending it there, we need, we need some levity. We need some levity to make this better. So I present to you some uh, live stream footage that I've yet to broadcast because, frankly, it's hilarious and I want to save it for a good occasion. I feel like this is, prob this is probably the one. So without further ado, much a bother and hopefully a laugh or two, I present to you Sumatory Dreams. To be continued. In your face.
basket and go! Turn! Turn him! Oh shit! Wow! <laughs> this is entirely entertaining on all levels. Brown guy's amazed by those stairs. He's like, holy shit! Oh, 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 golly! Oh, golly! Oh, golly! Oh, man, those are some stairs. Meanwhile, my guy's just like, mate, mate, mate. Brown guy's still delirious. <laughs> oh, golly! Oh, boy! Oh, god! Hey, hey, buddy! Oh, 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 god! Okay, hold on. 